Shri Sai Ram. Dear students, we are back with you to continue the session on the water by Chinua Achebe. We ended at a particular point which was an interesting point. Shall I just brush up your memory on that point only? That is, the elders realized that they can definitely force a hard bargain. So, the Eroko tree became almost like a, a wish-fulfilling wish tree. A wish-fulfilling tree. Anything they ask would be granted like that. Okay. That tree represents a golden opportunity for the elders to exploit to one's own heart's content. So it was a bargain. That's where we stopped. Shall we now continue? We are continuing. Roof had to agree. There was no other way. Roof had to agree. He had lately been taking down a lot of firewood himself. Firewood taken to mean benefits, benefits extracted or exploited according to the situation or rather utilizing or misutilizing the situation we can say. Only yesterday he had asked Marcus for one of his many rich robes and had got it. So this firewood is basically taken to mean what? The benefits that will accrue especially to people who are opportunistic and self-seeking. So he himself was like that. He was exploiting the word we can use. He was fleecing, plundering his own master also. Last Sunday, Marcus' wife, that is the teacher that nearly got him into trouble. You would remember he was a missionary school teacher and he was about to be terminated, dismissed on a complaint received from a lady teacher. The irony of the story is that this Marcus married the very same woman. That is another aspect to the story. Okay. So, last Sunday, Marcus' wife, the teacher that nearly got him in trouble, had objected. Bracket. Like the woman she was. Meaning, she was also a very possessive woman. And she also probably she also is not a straight woman. Or we can conclude that she deserves to be the wife of Marcus. Vice versa. Marcus deserves this wife only. Did you get the point? It's very interesting. So this woman, you see, she, she struts about, moves about like uh, uh, the master of the place, you must understand, okay. So she had objected like the woman she was when Ruth pulled out 
his uh, fifth bottle of beer from the refrigerator saying enough enough is enough shivas roundly roundly means in a vehement and emphatic manner she was roundly and publicly rebuked scolded by her husband why did marcus scold her because ruf is a very important person ruf is a tell me ruf is a very important person to marcus that is why marcus though he is a shrewd man a wise man a clever man that is why he is yielding he is yielding okay to cap it all meaning on top of everything to cap it all a roof had won a land case recently because among other things he had been chauffeur driven to the disputed site see getting a roof okay drinking as much as he could okay there is another thing also on top of everything he had won a land case recently reason is that he showed his power and his influence because he was taken to the place in a chauffeur driven car okay to the disputed site what's the meaning of the word disputed means sir uh, say something something that is subject of disagreement disputed means something that is subject of disagreement some disputed land disputed property disputed real estate transactions something like that you see he won because he had been chauffeur driven to the disputed site so that is it so he understood the elders about the firewood they were speaking about he understood because he himself was climbing on to the iroko tree which represents what did i say golden opportunity cutting down as much as possible what do we say for this could you please give me one word for that doing everything for oneself what word we could use self aggrandizement is a good word which will fit in here self aggrandizement a simpler word is self seeking another word is altruistically selfish only my own comforts pleasures etc at the expense of others you got the point you see that all right he said in english all right he said in english and then reverted to ibo ibo is short form of igbo short form of igbo okay he reverted means he came back to return to the native language but he started off in english you should say it is an upstartish behavior that is trying to prove to others that you know english so in fits and starts you use english also uh, to show off that is it actually let us not quarrel about small things he said let's not quarrel about small things he stood up ah oh, very deliberately he stood up adjusted his robes and plunged his hand once more into the bag then he bent down beautiful simile is given here actually speaking i would like you to appreciate this is he bent down like a priest distributing the host oh meaning as if doing great charity as if being so munificent 
he just bent down and gave one shilling more to every man. Not only that, my dear friends, you should see this. Only he did not put it into their palms. How do we normally give something to somebody? We hand it over, is it not so? Do we put it on the floor? What an outrageous thing it is. How indecent it is. You see, that is what is to be observed here, you see. Only he did not put it into their palms, but on the floor in front of them. As if you give to beasts and animals, you see. The men who had so far not deigned to touch the things. The men who had so far not deigned. Deign means be ready to do something considered below dignity. Be ready to do something below dignity. That is deigning. Okay. But they had means stooping you can say. They had not deigned so far. The men who had so far not deigned to touch the things looked at the floor and shook their heads. Shook their heads. Roof got up again and gave each man another shilling. Each man another shilling. Next word is very important. Roof told, I am through. I am through, he said. I am through means I am finished with this transaction. I am finished with you on this transaction. I am not done up with, you see, rather so many expressions can be used, you see, that is, uh, I mean, uh, I am done up, I am done up, you can use like that also, that is, uh, I mean, uh, no more transactions and no more negotiations, okay, no more transactions, that is the meaning here, I am through, this word I think you should have been familiar. Are you through with your lessons? We ask, are you through with your lessons? Means are you? Have you finished your lessons? Are you through? Same meaning only. Over. Over. Okay. With a defiance means with an open resistance. He said, I am finished with you. Okay. That was no less effective for being transparently fake. Transparent. Transparently faked. Transparently faked. Faked. Okay. So he said with a defiance. That was no less effective means it was very effective. His open resistance was very effective. For what? For being so clearly faked. It was a faked. It was a drama he was playing. It was a drama he was playing. Over. Like that you say. He was very effective. He was very effective. But you must understand the usage is that you see. The usage is that. That was no less effective. No less effective. Means it was very effective. Good usage. Please keep it with you. It's a good usage actually. Okay. The elders too knew how far to go without losing decorum. When the man threw up his hands and said, over, over, I am done with you, over, finished, okay, finished. People also, they have intelligence, they understood, the elders too knew how far to go, how far to go without losing decorum. Decorum means behavior in good taste and decency, behavior in good taste and decency. That's all. So, when Roof added, go, cast your paper for the enemy if you like. He said, I am through with you. If you want, you just 
now vote for the enemy when he said like that they quickly calmed him down you see that is they are also they are also equally equally intelligent they have got that native intelligence they also have got that knack you see they quickly calmed him down with a suitable speech from each of the crazy okay by the time the last man had spoken it was possible it is a sarcasm by the time the last man had spoken it was possible without great loss of dignity that has to be underscored without great loss of dignity to pick up the things from the floor they did not feel it a demeaning act to pick up things from the floor then rather they were bending low or you can say they were ready to stoop because the bargain they knew that's the limit you can say they knew the limit of their collective bargain what did i say they knew the limit of their collective bargain are you with me okay the enemy roof had uh, referred to was the progressive organization party pop for short which had been formed by the tribes down the coast to save themselves as the founders of the party proclaimed from total political cultural social and religious annihilation that is the pronunciation it is annihilation i mean normally there is a tendency to pronounce that as annihilation is it's actually a n n i h i l a t i o n is annihilation okay the the basic content here is that you see the party was organized by the tribe by the tribes tribal aboriginals okay were down the coast for what purpose to save themselves from what from total political cultural social and religious annihilation that is what they proclaimed or that is what the founders proclaimed although it was clear the party had no chance here you see although it was clear the party had no chance here it had plunged with a typical foolishness as a beautiful word you see typical is it <laughs> the adjective being used to that uh, noun of foolishness typical foolishness into a straight fight with the pap providing cars and how were they executing it providing cars and loud speakers to a few local rascals and thugs to go around and make a lot of noise they engaged a few thugs ruffians you can say and rascals okay to do the propaganda work by moving about and making lots of noise with uh, you can say with the loud speakers etc you got the point no one knew for certain no one knew for certain for certain means surely no one knew for certain how much money pop had let loose in umofia you see everybody knows the trade you can say it is a it's a grand gala festival of corruption grand gala festival of corruption there is a competition you can say in corruption you see no one knew for certain how much money pop had let loose in umofia they were throwing money you see but it is said to be very considerable which means that they had they had what's the word that i told in the last class you remember for bribing come on greasing the palms that's the word greasing the palms so they had done that the local campaigners were given the money okay so they would end up very rich no doubt because money is distributed to the to the 
uh, the voters or the electorate by the campaigners. So half of the money will go to the people. The other half, they will divide among themselves. Natural. Next paragraph. Up to last night, everything had been moving according to plan. So nice. As Roof would have put it, things were moving smoothly. Then he had received a strange visit from the leader of the POP campaign team. From the opposition, the chief man, the campaigner, came to visit Roof. Now, there is a relationship between them which is mentioned here. He is not a stranger to Roof. Although he and Roof were well known to each other. They were well known to each other. And might even be called friends. His visit, although it was so, his visit was cold and business-like. Mark it. Cold and business-like. Means no nonsense. I have come here for a purpose. Or you can say, I have come here on a purpose. Finish. That is all. Either you take it or leave it. So he has come with a proposal. Okay. No words were wasted. You see. He placed five pounds on the floor. Again, for a roof also, it was placed on the floor. Okay. So he placed five pounds on the floor before roof and said, We want your vote. Roof got up from his chair, went to the outside door, closed it carefully and returned to his chair. That is a beautiful point actually. You see, he did not reply immediately whether he would, he would oblige or not. He did not say immediately. That is a technique. Back in India, I can tell you, there is a this technique there is a technique like this this is called biding for time will you repeat with me it is biding b-i-d-i-n-g biding for time you want some time to think okay so what you do is you do something else okay in india we can notice when some such immediate decisions are to be taken or some questions are asked okay the person to whom the question is asked, you see, that person opens the betel box, takes the betel leaves, nicely removes those uh, strands or veins, takes the, the uh, you can say, takes uh, this uh, chunna, then uh, the arik nut also, then uh, nicely folds them, then puts uh, them in the, in the mouth, then they chew it, and take time to chew it and then they slowly move out and they spit out the spittle. This is the time that they have taken actually for thinking, for decision. That space they have created like that. Like that you see the man went out and he closed the door and there was a space of time that he needed. He needed that time actually to make a sudden decision basically. The brief exercise gave him enough time to weigh the proposition. This is what I told. That gave him time to weigh his proposition. Weigh the proposition, not his proposition. Weigh the proposition given to him. Okay. As he spoke, his, uh, as he spoke, um, Yes, as he spoke, um, his eyes never left the red notes. Eyes were on that only. He's a greedy man. He's a greedy man. Please understand. Eyes were, eyes were always on the red notes on the floor. He seemed to be mesmerized by the picture of the cocoa farmer harvesting his crops. Greedy eyes. 
there is actually there is uh, you can say he seemed to be mesmerized by the picture of the cocoa farmer you see here this cocoa farmer harvesting uh, you can say his crops that is given here as a figure of speech the reason is you see the man is very greedy you must understand nigeria still now is a great uh, and successful exporter of uh, cocoa so when the harvest season is on the farmer is all joy the farmer is so happy and uh, he is uh, when he is so elated when he starts the harvest like a greedy person exactly like that roof felt at the sight of the five pounds okay you know i work for barkas he said feebly i work for him you must understand you see it will be very bad he said to be i don't know what to say he said the other man said marcus will not be the when you put in your paper you put in your paper in secrecy he won't be the we have plenty of work to do tonight are you taking this or not come to business are you taking this or not roof is asking it will not be heard outside this room asked roof means i hope you will not publicize this against me answer we are after votes not gossip we are after votes not gossip all right said roof in english you see occasionally in fits and starts he uses english to show off the deal is being struck now the man nudges his companion nudges the means rather pushing somebody with your elbow the man nudged his companion and he brought forward an object covered with a red cloth and proceeded to remove the cover something weird was brought to the strange thing it was a fearsome little affair contained in a clay pot with the feathers stuck into it the you see the e the e comes from banta banta is a place famous for this occult practices dark side of spiritual practices evil practices sorcery so many things you can say like that okay so the e comes from banta you know what that means swear that you will vote for maduka if you fail to do so this e take note this e take note is only uh, you can say it is only a rough language used it is a rough language used the meaning is this e will fix you that's the meaning this e will fix you finish you okay roof's heart nearly flew out when nearly flew out his heart nearly flew out when he saw the e because most of these people are superstitious people roof was also under the spell of uh, this superstition basically he was scared indeed he knew the fame of banta in these things but he was a man of quick decision what could a single vote cast in secret for maduka take away from marcus a certain victory one vote i am giving to maduka it will not lessen the prospect of victory of uh, marcus nothing okay ready i'll cast my paper for maduka you see what an opportunistic man he is shall we call this a treacherous 
a treacherous resolve or decision this is treachery you are actually giving up your own master you must understand without another thought is a manipulator that is it you see i will cast my paper for maduka if not this e take not means if this e will leave me alone i am ready to vote and the word came that man also is trying english halting english we say halting english h a l t h a l t i n g halting english that's all said the man as he rose with his companion who had covered up the object again and was taking it back to their car you know he has no chance against marcus said roof at the door i will vote but must understand he has no chance against marcus the next answer you must understand my dear children that is that is you can say that is the zenith of zenith of corruption you can say it is enough that he gets a few votes now what is it it is enough that he gets a few notes now next time he will get more next time he will get more the other man is telling how people will hear that uh, underscore the point he gives out pounds not shillings people will hear that he gives out pounds not shillings and they will listen meaning you see voters can be bought voters can be bought highest bidder clinches the deal highest bidder clinches the deal so marcus is corrupt fine roof is manipulator corrupt fine and he is a traitor also fine what about the people they also have become corrupt they also have become wise and corrupt that is what we understand from this particular uh, expression now we come to the glossary a few words that uh, i had already told you uh, we will just go through that roundly in a vehement and emphatic manner to cap it all on top of everything disputed something that is subject of disagreement revert to came back to return to dane be ready to do something below dignity defiance open resistance decorum behavior in good taste and decency with that uh, we are coming to the close of uh, today's session we will have uh, one more session to complete this lesson till then thank you very much